Welcome to A Talk With Armani. I am your host, Armani Amai. This is the show that takes you behind the scenes and in front of the screen of all different types of productions. Whether it's a feature film, a brand new TV show, or writing a book. I introduce you to those powerhouses that make those productions work. Make sure you stay tuned as I bring to you my first guest. Welcome back to A Talk with Armani. So, you, I never one time said that you had to be a certain age to achieve your goals or to dream a dream. As a matter of fact, sometimes when we were a little girl or a little boy, we said when we grow up, we want to be. Well, my next guest is only 11 years old and she has decided that she wants to start right now. Please help me welcome Daytime. <laughs> so, I mean, first of all, you're very, very pretty, and thank, thank you. you so much for coming on the show. No problem. When I read your bio, because of course I have to read and get to know the person that I'm going to be interviewing, right? I was like, wait a minute, how old is she again? <laughs> <laughs> She's 11, yes. and you've done so much. Yes, I have. So thank you. So are you considered the youngest publisher? Um, I'm not really sure. Okay. I think I could be one of the youngest. Okay. But they're awesome. They're awesome. They're more, many more awesome youth okay. that's doing the same thing that I'm doing. Okay. Tell me about your magazine. Okay. So the title of my magazine is called Daytime Magazine. This okay. is my magazine. All righty. Let me see. Hold on. Let me look. Okay. Oh, wow. So we've got some really colorful, we've got some colorful uh, covers and yes. some really good artwork. Wow. Yes. That's really nice. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, right. <laughs> so who does your graphics? Do you do you uh, participate in all the design of it, like of everything? Um, yes. Um, what we do is they give me multiple options, mm -hmm. and we look through the best ones, and then I decide. Well, let me ask you a question. Yes. What made you decide to want to do this? Um, well, you see, I love capturing inspiring, awesome youth. Okay. And I like to capture the inspiring to inspire others. Okay. Okay. So you want to caption the story that will inspire others yes. to be inspired. Yes. Oh, that is fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. So when you were how old did you dream this out? Um, I was 10. Okay. I was 10 when I dreamed this out. And my book came out when I was nine. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, wait a minute. Let's go back. So you have the magazine when you were 10, but you said before you even did the magazine, you wanted to write a book. Yes. Oh, wow. And this is called My Tutu. Yes. Oh, well, this is, is fabulous. Yes. <laughs> and it's got all the different colors and stuff on it. Oh, my goodness. So tell us about My Tutu. Okay, so My Tutu follows the storyline of my first song. Mm -hmm. And my first song was created when I was five. Okay. So it's all about colors and tutus and what I did. So when I was five, my life was literally like tutus. Okay. Like everything was tutus. But that's all you wore? All I wore was tutus. <laughs> I'm so serious. <laughs> okay, okay. Like so serious. Just with everything? Everything. Shoes, sneakers, like school, tutus, school, like school, everything. 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 I was just ready. Everything. Okay. Like everything. everything. Okay. Everything. So you just had tutus all over the place. All yes. kinds of organza material. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just Everything. Around. And bows. Okay, and bows. Bows and tutus okay. were my life. Okay. So right. this book follows the storyline of my first song. It has the colors, the days of the week, mm -hmm. and hair bows and tutus. Oh, wow. So that's exciting. <laughs> so the foreword on your book, uh, Daytime is a nine-year-old, because you were nine at the time. Yes female who loves wearing a different tutu every day of the week yes. to every activity. This book introduces, introduces days of the week, colors, and encourages positive extracurricular activity for youth. A fun and great read for every kid. Wow. Yes. So it also says something about music videos. Yes. So you got a whole bunch of stuff going on. Yes. Okay, we're going to talk about some of it when we come back, okay? Okay, I'm All right, we'll that. be right back. You're watching A Talk With Armani. So, in case...
case you're just joining me, I am sitting here with the very talented, youthful, and imaginative daytime. Hi. So before the break, we were talking about your book. Yes. And so because obviously I was dangerously unprepared. My people did not tell me everything and I had to <laughs> strangle them because we've got a book. We've got some magazines and yes. then you have music videos. Yes. So when did you start singing? Um, My first song was created when I was five. Okay. So I was singing way before that. Um, I was singing and dancing before I could even learn my ABCs. Okay, so at any time, like, when did you learn to walk? Like, I'm, I need to know, like, when, <laughs> when did you learn, like, regular little kid stuff? Like, at this point in time, at five, you have a music video, uh -huh. and you're singing and you're dancing, and then by the age of nine, you have a published book yes. that has sold all kinds of copies, and then at the age of 10, you say, no, wait a minute, I want to do a magazine. Yes. So, and now you're in almost at your annual anniversary of your magazine. So for an 11 year old, you've accomplished a lot. Yes. Wow. <laughs> so when did you decide, I guess I'm wondering, were you ever just like, okay, I'm just gonna play with my dolls? Um, I was never like that. Okay. <laughs> um, but I do love dolls. Okay. When I was younger, I would always just like dedicate some time to mm -hmm. play with my dolls. Like I even had like specific dolls that I would use for like dancing. Like mm -hmm. I had like the little ballet dolls. Oh wow. Yeah. Wow. So I always found a place for dolls mm -hmm. and a place for my talent. Okay. Okay. So the music came first? Dancing. Mm hmm yeah, dancing and music. I guess they could, they both came first, yeah. Okay, so the dancing and the music. Yes. Okay, and we have a video of you, are you dancing and singing in the video? Yes. Okay, and the name of the song that we're going to sing? My Tutu. My Tutu, okay. <laughs> so we're going to play right now the video for daytime, My Tutu. Take a look. On Mondays, I write my paper. Got dressed, put my tutu on, I gotta look my best. Head into the school to take my final test. Step up on the yard, you know I'm looking fresh. With my tutu, my tutu. Now show me what you working with. That's not a tutu, there's plenty in my bag. This one might fit you, and you, and you, and you too. I got red, green, yellow, and blue. So put on your tutu so we can go and play. Cause all around the world, they rock them every day. With them tutus, them tutus. On Mondays, I rock my pink tutu. Miss Day, you are late. And what are you wearing? Oh man, I'm sorry I'm late everybody. You know how crazy <laughs> it can traffic can be. Especially on Pink Tutu Monday. <laughs> Wow, so, I mean, you're energetic, you've got a lot going on, and you're right, and you're colorful, you've got all <laughs> kinds of different tutus and bows and everything right. going on. So, when you did this song, did you write the words yourself? Yes, me and my mom actually okay. did. Okay, My mom okay. and I, yes, we did. Okay. Um, it was really simple, though. Was it? Yes, because it's just like... My this is what day. you do. Yeah. yeah. This is what I do. Wow. Well, we've got so much more to talk about. And mom is in the audience, so we're going to put the spotlight on her when we come right back. <laughs> You're watching A Talk with Armani. Welcome back to A Talk with Armani. So if you just joined me, I am sitting here with the spectacular daytime and she is a singer, a dancer, an author, a publisher. She has done, she's a music writer. She has done all kinds of things. And I mean, you're 11 years old. Yes. So I have to, and I had an opportunity to speak to mom backstage. Uh -huh. And we know we've got mom in the audience. So it's like, wow, mom. 
<laughs> you've got a powerhouse. What are you thinking at this point? Like, you've got an 11-year-old who has a daily planner. Wow. Um, I don't know. It feels like, even though it seems like she's doing a lot of stuff, we still just don't feel like we've done enough. Oh, wow. So until you've impacted a lot of kids and kids know about her brand, it's like you feel like you really hadn't done enough. Really? Are you really busy? Like, do you find yourself that your day is her day? I mean, as a mother, usually our children, like, take up our whole entire lives. Yeah. But now we have, you know, you're a momager. So it's like, wow, this is not even my time. Like, people are calling you saying, can I book your daughter for yes, <laughs> and we get those a lot. And, like, even today, I don't have on. <laughs> well, she looks cute, but I don't look cute. And that's a no, lot you look of days, cute. I don't even eat cheese. <laughs> So it's like it's a lot of days like that. Like there's so more about her, and then I just get slipped in the cracks. So wow, but I know you're proud. <laughs> oh yes, extremely proud because Day, even though she do a lot of stuff, she's really a sweet kid. Mm -hmm. Like in the family, she is that one that just supports everybody. Wow, well that is fabulous. <laughs> the one that she may not support, she is the one that's like, oh no, that's okay. Let me call. Let I'll call. They'll answer my calls. I'm like okay, fine. Oh. <laughs> but she's really the jail to everybody. She's really sweet. Uh, her name is Daytime, which stands for um, Japanese Princess. Okay. And she really is a happy kind of go person. In the daytime, the light in the room, she is really the energetic, the light person. And she's been like this since she was a baby. Wow. <laughs> well, that is a wonderful. So what's next for you? I mean, you've done so much. Um, what's next? We're working on my award show. Okay. And this is going to be the release of the fourth edition of my magazine as so well. So the anniversary edition? Um, I guess you could say that. Okay, okay. So you started, you published your first magazine last year? On April 1st. Oh, wow. Isn't that amazing? That's a holiday. It's a special <laughs> holiday for the whole world. Yes. <laughs> it's also my birthday. <gasps> <laughs> Really? <laughs> yes. So of course it was going to be a success. Yes. <laughs> of course. So let me ask you this. Yes. You've done a lot of different articles. What exactly is in a daytime magazine? Well, if I pick this magazine up or if I see it, what am I looking at? What am I going to find in here? You're going to be looking at inspiring youth. We have different ages. There's a there's a bunch of ages, it's a variety of ages. Mm -hmm. Like, you're gonna see a bunch of different ages. You're gonna be like, oh, oh. It's just a very inspiring book. You're gonna see um, inspiring passages okay. or articles about okay. these inspiring kids. Okay. Um, and when you pick up this book, you're gonna be like, oh, this book will be great for okay. so-and-so to inspire this person. Okay, okay. So I see that you've got some fashion in here. Yes. Um, there's also, like you said, some inspiration. There's some back-to-school tips. Uh, there looks like there was, oh, meet the editor. That's a, that's a fancy picture. Okay. <laughs> that's a really fancy picture right there. And then we've also got... Oh, wow, so we've got the Professional Basketball League in here? Yes, we have some ads, some of the red carpet events that I've done. So this is, this would be considered, I mean, this is a magazine? Yes. Wow. And then it seems like, so you've done three. Yes. And was this your first one? No, my first one was actually this huge one at the bottom. Oh, wow. Yeah, the special magazine. Okay, the special edition. The and star status, was, yes. Oh, you jam-packed it. Yes, I did. There's a lot of stuff in There's there. There's over 20 inspirational kids in there. Wow. Well, that is absolutely fantastic. Wow. And we're going to talk a little bit more about how you get your stories and, you know, where you look for, I guess, the inspiration to continue to go on. Okay? We're going to talk about that in a minute. We'll be right back.
welcome back to a talk with Armani. So in case you missed it, you missed a fabulous interview with the very, very talented, youthful and inspirational daytime. Well, daytime again, I just wonder you're 11 years old and yes. we've talked about this already. And I keep saying the same thing over and over again. We started out in music when we were five mm -hmm. and we're dancing and we're singing and we're making music videos about things that are really really happening in our lives, our tutus, our bows, but we've used those stories to actually send a message to our listeners through our music. And then you decided, hey, I want to do something else. Mm -hmm. And you wrote your book, which yes. is my tutu. My tutu. And tutu. then you decided to do something else on a bigger scale and then start publishing a magazine. Right. Is there any time when you decide, hmm, I don't want to do anything today. I just want to kind of just be 11. Um... Well, being 11 and my idea mm -hmm. is just like practicing my craft. I love to play piano. So I do have those break days where I do sit down and play piano, learn more popular songs so I can sing a cappella. I love okay. singing. Um, just practice okay. and enjoy life. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> that is inspiring words <laughs> from our future because that's what you are you are the future for our, everybody's future basically uh -huh. you know what i mean our children our youth are our future so tell me how can we find daytime magazine and you see the audience has it now and they're all intrigued they're not yes. even paying attention to me anymore <laughs> they got their head buried in the book <laughs> how where can we find daytime um you can find daytime on the red carpet okay. you can check out my website which is www.daytimemagazine.com mm -hmm. d-a-i-t-i-m-e magazine.com okay. um, you can also check out my instagram which is officially daytime once again d-a-i-t-i-m-e that's about it okay and <laughs> if they want to get a copy of the magazine are the magazines in all different types of areas or um Currently, it is on my website. Okay, great. And so is my book. Okay, so we can get a copy of the magazine as well as a copy of the book, My Tutu, on the website, which again is www.daytimemagazine.com. And if we want to hear some more music from you, we can go where? You can check out my YouTube or my website as well. My YouTube is Daytime. Okay, so everything in your social media is daytime? Yes. So everything is daytime. So if you want to check out anything that's got to do with my inspirational and very, very inspiring young guests, you can just put in, you know what? Google her, daytime. And we're going to spell right. that. My website comes up. A I T I M E. Right. So we can just Google daytime, put it in your search bar. Everybody knows how to do it. Put it in your phone. And we'll be able to get it right there, okay? Correct. All right, well, thank you so much for joining me. I really thank appreciate you. it. This thank has been you. a wonderful, inspirational time. I did. And if you had a message for any, I'm not even just going to say kids, for anyone mm -hmm. that has a dream or maybe they have an idea, what would that message be to them? Um, this is so funny because I ask this on the red carpet a lot. Um, I would just say to follow your dreams and find somebody to help you. Um, if you can't find anybody to help you, that means you're just going to have to, like, push yourself a bit harder. Mm -hmm. So um, if you want to be a surgeon, mm -hmm. you can start preparing now. They have great workshops. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to do what I'm doing, a magazine, a book, an artist, a dancer, start preparing yourself. YouTube. I learned how to sew on YouTube. YouTube. Wow. Wow. It's awesome. Okay. Yeah. YouTube. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much. Thank you again for coming on. No I problem. appreciate thank it. And keep you. up the good work. And we look forward to your uh, fourth edition. It is coming out in yes. December, right? And we will keep us posted about your award ceremony. Yes, I will. All right. Thank you again. We'll be right back. You're watching A Talk with Armani. <laughs> Welcome back to A Talk with Armani. So I just wanted to check in with you on my Black Pants Challenge because I know I started it last week, but I wanted to check in with you now. Some people may say that's not the same black pants that she had on. No, it's not. And I'm going to tell you why. Because over the weekend, I went to Walmart and I was able to find a pair of black tight jeggings because it's starting to get a cold and they were only six bucks. 
So again, if you're trying to save money, if you're trying to find a way that you can kind of repurpose your outfit and not, or you don't have a whole lot of money, you're just starting over, you're trying to go looking for a job, you're starting a job, you're going to school, whatever is going on, and you're trying to figure out what you're going to wear, you know, sometimes we can take some of the things that we already have in our closet and we can repurpose them. Too many times do we hear, oh, I don't have anything to wear, that's why I can't go somewhere. But you can take a pair of plain black tights and you can put it pair with a shirt, a vest, maybe your ex left some stuff in the closet after you kicked them out, or maybe you lost some weight and you've got a too big shirt that you can kind of tie to the side, or maybe you've got a jacket that you lost the pants to a long time ago, or maybe somebody gave you something and you just haven't figured out where to wear it or how to pair it. If you have a pair of simple black pants, you can pair it with almost anything and you can create a brand new style every day. So like I promised you last week, we have a 20 day challenge where we will wear the same black pants and what we will do is we will tie it in with different things to try to create a new look every day so that when we go to school or work or on that interview, we're looking nice, we're feeling confident and we don't have to worry about spending very much money. Until next time, make sure you stay safe and stay encouraged. I'll see you soon.